Hi, welcome to the tutorial. This time we're going to download the latest version of VirtualBox. So this is the URL or the address where you have to go to. Just Google it, VirtualBox download, and you get your latest version that's available for the Windows hosts. Okay, that done. As you can see, if I uh, skipped this, uh, I've downloaded everything already. Then we go to the next step. The next step is Linux Mint. And there you're gonna download the Linux Mint Cinnamon version 64. All right, so you go to a place that's nearby, a country that uh, you live by, you live in, or is, is a neighbor. So that's uh, quickly downloaded. When those two things have been downloaded, now we're going to install it. Let's check our download, which is here. So in Windows, we just have to double click it. It's an executable and you just follow all the steps through. Let's wait till it opens. The VirtualBox was already installed, so maybe he'll ask me something to delete, but I don't think he will. He is going to ask, all the options are good, and you just say yes, install. It's coming from the company Oracle, so there's no worry for viruses or spyware or anything like that if you get it from the official website, not from download.com or anything else, just go to the original website. Almost there. It was 120 megabytes to install. And there you are. So next tutorial is about um, adding this Linux Mint, or we can make it in one go, why not? So we'll continue the to tutorial, let's run it. So if you run the program, Oracle Virtual Machine Virtual Box, you can go for new, which is now set into Dutch. So if you have another language, you go to preferences, which is here and then you can change here the language. So I'm gonna use English by preference. So new, and then you have to name it, but uh, well, we're gonna name it Linux Mint 18.1 Cinnamon. And 18.2 is due to arrive, so we're waiting about for that, for the release. Then the more technical part. We have eight gigabytes of RAM, meaning I have a host, which is Windows, and I have um, a guest, which is Linux. I'm gonna give 50-50 to each, more or less, doesn't matter, but more or less 50-50. And that's how we proceed. We create this thing, recommended size 10 gigabytes, it says. Okay, next, next, dynamically. But here you can say anyway to make it a little bit bigger if you want to, just a slider, not technical. Just make it a little bit bigger, 15 is okay. Create, and we're not out of the woods yet. We still have to go to settings and tweak a little bit there. So you go inside system, you have to look at your own computer, your own hardware. How many CPUs do you have? I have four, so again, common sense, I'm gonna divide the CPUs over the host system, which is Windows and the guest system is going to be Linux Mint. Okay, so the processor has been done. This has been done already, the memory. The same applies for display. You have also a display. We can do 50-50 here, more or less, doesn't matter, but more or less. Enable 3D acceleration, why not? And then last but not least, we should boot something. We should put a CD in. We're gonna put a virtual CD, not a real uh, live CD, but something we downloaded. So Linux Mint 18.1 is going in. Okay. And now we can start booting. Everything is done. Here the tutorial ends. The other one is actually 
the booting process of Linux Mint. Enjoy.